Welcome back to our channel. I'm Teacher Cedric, and we're going to look at a geometry problem today from the Amos Special Round 2015. Now, this is a question I receive a lot from our subscribers as well as my own students, so I'd like to put this into a video lesson. Now, let's get started. In the diagram below, the base of this triangle ABC is 42 cm and the height is 28 cm. It is known that the area of the triangle GHI over here is 84 cm squared, and given also that we have some ratio between the three sides, find the area of the shadow regions. Now, that my first thought when I say this problem is that hmm, we're given so less information about all these sections over here as well as this big triangle. So let us start with finding what we know first. Now at least with the base and the height, I can first find out the total area of this triangle ABC, and that will be 588. And what else do we know about these triangles? Well, the question tells us some ratio between the sides, so let me label them in this diagram. Now we know FC to BC is 1 over 3, so that means that this side and this side are in the ratio of 1 to 2. And BE to BA is also 1 to 3, so I can write down 1 to 2 over here and 1 to 2 over here. So now, when you see all these ratios on the side, it should re immediately remind you something. And the something is the equal height model. Whenever you have a big triangle and the line slides across in this big triangle and you're given the ratio of the base, then we know that the ratio of this base is equal to the ratio of these two areas over here, areas of these two triangles over here. So tell me, how many equal height model can you find from this diagram over here? Very good. There are a total of three equal height models. So that means we're going to find some relationship between all these pieces, all these sections in this shape. And to make it more obvious, let me first remove all these letters. And then I will call these different areas, uh, I'll give them a name. So this area we'll call A, this area we'll call B, and then C, D, E, and F. And now we're going to establish some relationship between all these areas. Now with the first equal height model as this as the base, we know that A plus B plus C, the area of this triangle over here, to the area of this triangle over here, which is D plus E plus F plus 84, is in the ratio, it's the same as the ratio of the bases, which is 1 to 2. Now that's the first equal height model. Now tell me where's the next equal height model. Very good, we can use this base as the base of the second equal height model, so that we'll get C plus F plus E to A plus B plus D plus 84 equals 1 to 2. Again, the ratio of the bases. And finally, we have this base as another equal height model, so that we can get a plus d plus e equals these things over here. Now, remind me, when we have these ratio relationships, how can I turn them into equations? Brilliant! We can take the product of the means and the product of the extremes, and we know that these two products are always the same, so that we can write down these three equations over here. And let's have a good look on these three equations. On the left, I have 1a, 2b, 1c, 2d, e, and 2f, and then 3a, 4. And then on the right, I would have some a, some c, some d, some e, and then some f. So why do we combine these three equations and then see what we get? Now, if I combine the left hand side, then I would get all these things on the left and 3 times 84, which comes from this 384 here. And then on the right hand side, I will get 4a, 2b, 4c, 2d, 4e, and 2f. Immediately, you can find out that some of these terms would cancel each other. For example, I have a 2b on the left and a 2b on the right, so they will cancel each other. And I have this 2d on the left and this 2d on the right, and they will also cancel each other. Now, what we're going to left with? We're going to left with 3 times 84 on the left and 3a, 3c, 3e on the right, which we can simplify to simply a plus c plus e, which equals 84. Now, how is this going to be useful? Did you notice something very interesting? I said this piece over here, a plus c plus e, these three pieces add up with this 84, 
would be all the unshadowed regions. And in order to find the shadow regions, we can simply take the total area, 588, minus 84, the central pieces, and then the 84 from A, C, and E, so that we know the shadow region would be 420 centimeters squared. Now that's how you solve this problem. The trick is that whenever you see a lot of ratios of the sides in a triangle, then you should remind yourself that maybe it's time to use the equal height model. And in the case where the equal height model is not so obvious, maybe you can start with writing down the relationship that you know first, and then from there, you'll slowly build up your intuition to how to solve this problem. Now, that's it for today. Now again, uh, our courses cover from P1 to S2, and then we also provide short-term sprint class for different contests as well as PSLE math. And then if you'd like to book a consultation session with our teachers, you can simply download our app. And then finally, make sure you join our study groups on WhatsApp so that you don't miss out any important information. Now that's it for today. I'm Teacher Cedric, and I'll see you soon.